Yeah, well, we're not animals in a zoo. Like we're not we're not camels in a zoo. We're not herbivores, you know. And and just because we have enough straw doesn't mean we're we're going to lose our unbelievable capacity for destructive creation. And it, we don't know how to harness that, you know. And I've been trying, I suppose, in some sense, to to meet that desire for a call to adventure with what I'm writing and and with my lectures and 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 to use responsibility in this moral domain as a as a as a battle that's of sufficient intensity to engage young people in particular property it's like get yourself together see how difficult that is see what you can do put yourself together stop doing the things you know to be wrong and see what happens put yourself together and there's been an unbelievable response to that and i think it's harmless in some sense or as harmless as such things can be because it is focused it's like change you leave the other people alone or if you want to change them maybe you can do it through example you know but they're not your they're not the problem you have enough problems with yourself it's like well what are you complaining about you've got enough to eat it's like fair enough you know who wants to starve right and so it's even hard to fight against well i should be grateful for that and yes you should but it's not enough and and you think about where we came from our our ancestors what they struggled against and from from the time we were you know from from our animal forebears all the way up to where we are now whatever we're made for it's not it's not it's not twinkies and 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 and, and tv you know it's not willful blindness and the comfort that brings it's it's not enough and and so we need this adventure and and well and that's that's something we're going to all have to contend with because if we don't get the adventure right then we'll get it wrong and it'll lead us in terrible places one of the things i've said that people have repeated many times and that it's in memes and you can buy it on you know merchandise at, items and that sort of thing um a good man is a very dangerous man who has himself under control and no one ever says that so you say to young men look like your job is to be as dangerous as you possibly can be in every possible direction and to control that right not to be harmless and 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 slothful and and contemptible even in your own eyes and that way you get the power of the shadow you don't have to dispense with the anger and the aggression you can integrate it and that's way better i mean i i had a remarkable conversation with jocko willink i th i felt that it was remarkable it it was very engrossing and willink he's he's unlike me in many ways i mean he's a physical specimen of sort of unparalleled proportions <laughs> to begin with he's about 2 feet thick you know and he's this military guy highly disciplined and also extraordinarily morally integrated and he's he's an admirable person because the danger is right there under the surface but it ha he has it rather than it having him and we we're uncomfortable with the idea that that's the proper route for socialization we teach our children try to teach our children that only you know cooperative games are access acceptable and they know in their hearts that that's a complete bloody lie it's not technically sustainable it's not even conceptually correct it, i'm not saying i've solved it i talked to bjorn about this a lot it's like i love your message wouldn't it be wonderful to eradicate absolute poverty and he does this great job technically of rank ordering global concerns doing a cost benefit analysis that's methodologically rigorous and saying look we can we can devote money here we'll get a 20 to 1 return it's mostly in child nutrition as it turns out couldn't we do an immense amount of good with targeted spending and the the answer is clearly yes we could eradicate child um poverty in the next 15 years we probably will we could do great things but we don't know how to sell it and that's a huge problem i've never had more of a response from a crowd than when i draw a relationship between responsibility and meaning without fail that brings the crowd to silence and it's because that connection hasn't been made explicit sufficiently i i would say is that we find 
meaning and responsibility. And there is a messianic call that's embedded in this. And you can translate that into get yourself together, see what you could become. And, you know, much of Beyond Order is exactly that. It's push your limits, move beyond yourself, discipline yourself, but move beyond that discipline. Don't let that order constrain who you could be because it's not a high enough order yet. And, and I would say it looks like that is attractive to, to young people and per, perhaps specifically to young men, but not only to young men and not only to the young. So, well, that's a problem that we have to address is, you know, we are doing a lot of things right, but we're not, it's not romantic enough. experience and my lecturing experience has been unbelievably positive in Maine and the clinical experience was positive because I was always on the side of the per of the part of the person that was oriented towards their their own health and improvement that was part of our contractual pact in some I'd often make that explicit it's like I'm not here for unconditional positive regard I'm on the side of the part of you that wants everything to be better and we're going to discover where that is and we're going to work to facilitate it and people loved that and it was so gratifying to engage in that work. It was constantly positive. I worked with a huge variety of people from people who were had nothing, no gifts, and, and were just off the edges of the world to people who were unbelievably talented and gifted, the whole gamut. And that was that was absolutely wonderful to see that range of people. And the lecturing has been The lecture tour I did was immensely positive, too much positive even. You wouldn't think that would be possible, but it, it is possible. Um, and I, I'm i very positively oriented towards human beings in the main, despite I think we're great, flawed and terribly, but, but no wonder, no wonder. I mean, the burden we bear is, is absolutely, it's absurd. The existentialists made much of that. We have an absurd existence. We're aware of our own mortality. God, and we're animals. We're aware of our own mortality. What a burden. And yet here we are. And, and much of the time we're not corrupt and horrible. It's a miracle. So, you know, it's a word of And that's what people are responding so positively to in a, in a time where everyone is told this story that, you know, human activity is all a struggle for power and that we're fundamentally a destructive force and that we should rein ourselves in. And, and 
I'm I I'm not selling that message. It's a word of encouragement. You're you could be more than you are, and wouldn't that be great for everyone, including you?